Conor McGregor poses no threat to me, especially when I hit him with a jab, slam him to the ground, and I'll finish him with a dodge choke or any kind of choke of my please. Show up! Same message it was the last time. Show the f up and let's fight. I believe I'll come out with this fight without a scratch. Hope you actually get your shit together so that way we have a good fight for these fans. Should have kept his mouth shut and I'm gonna slap the face off him and that's it. <laughs> Talk shit. I'll be the first one to sign that dog line. Mark my words, bro. Connor's next. I hear. Uh, I hear he might be next. Uh, there's nobody else in line, buddy. I'm in shape. I'm not. I don't believe I'm there yet, though. You know, I just got work to do. He's very game with his kicks. He's got his punch combos there. Uh, I think he thinks he's a boxer, but in Taekwondo, he's got light pillow hands. So he's never felt any power like me. Of course I was going to show up and compete regardless of who, uh, who was across from me. That's why I was willing to take the 155 pound fight, the 170 pound fight, whatever fight was available, I was going to take a fight. I feel that if he goes into later rounds, it's going to be absolutely terrible. A great fight. I'm gonna go on and finish them quick. You gotta have size, reach, length. You've gotta have some attributes. If you come in any way equal to me, I'm gonna rip your whole head off, and that's it. I tell it every time. You gotta let it go, son. And if you don't want it anymore, and you're gonna just hold it up a little bit more, you gotta let it go, son. Tony In the first fight in UFC history to, to, to secure knockout victories at Fedaway, at Lightway, and now at Welterway across three weight divisions. Well, thank you guys, every single one of you, for showing up. You guys are kick-ass crowd, and I hope to come back soon. Notorious Connor McGregor!